The glaciers of the Himalayas feed the giant rivers of Southeast Asia, like the Ganges and the Brahmaputra, that bring water to millions. If they disappeared, the impact would be catastrophic. So the world took notice when the scientists of the UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change said, Glaciers in the Himalaya are receding faster than in any other part of the world, and if the present rate continues, the likelihood of them disappearing by the year 2035 and perhaps sooner is very high. But it's wrong. The headline's a gift to climate sceptics. The credibility of the UN's prestigious climate science body dealt a severe blow at a time when climate scepticism is rising in the wake of the row over stolen emails from the University of East Anglia. In November last year, the Indian government had clashed with the IPCC over the 2035 claim in its own glacier report. This week they were back on the offensive again. There is no doubt that most of our Himalayan glaciers are in poor condition, but to say that in another 20 to 25 years all our glaciers of more than 10,000 years would melt is alarmist and misplaced. The origin of the startling 2035 date is confused, but we've tracked it back to briefings to journalists way back in 1999 by an Indian scientist, Professor Syed Hasnain, who was writing a report on Himalayan glaciers. That was unintentionally misquoted by the environmental group WWF and picked up by the IPCC. A British glaciologist who works in the Himalayas and knows the Indian professor well has been following the row closely. The report, which is fairly um, innocuous and has no reference to glaciers disappearing from the Himalayas by 2035, uh, seems to have been briefed to the media it's probably one of the very few things that's uh, wrong in the IPCC report, uh, one thing that has, has crept through. But not nonetheless, one would have expected uh, that the critical reviewers uh, would have picked up on it. Even now, the IPCC hasn't withdrawn the 2035 claim. It has only said it regrets the failure of its review process. The IPCC chair today refusing to discuss it. I mean, I can't deal with it in five minutes. It's not an issue. You know that better than me. You can't deal with it in five minutes. In reality, of course, the error does not undermine the IPCC conclusion that the world is warming, but it is damaging. And the IPCC's failure to respond doesn't help convince the world urgent action really is needed on climate change.